was on my way over here, someone uh, stopped me and asked me what this gathering was all about. Believe it or not, there's still people in the area that don't know. So that kind of made me think and I realized that the answer to this question really lies. You know, it depends on who you ask. Because if you ask somebody who lives on this block or anywhere in the area, this is about traffic congestion. This is about crowd overspill into the streets. This is about noise pollution. This is about general degradation of our quality of life. Of course, if you ask somebody from across the street, this is about Islamophobia. We're all bigots and nothing that we say is important and should be listened to or should count. Well, that struck me as kind of, you know, odd. Because, well, here we are basically making arguments based on facts. Here we are putting together engineering reports, traffic reports, and all of it is summarily dismissed simply because the crowd that is here is not, not monolithic, simply because we have Jews and Christians, but you know what? We probably don't have any Muslims. And the arguments that we present are simply dismissed because we, don't, we are not Muslims. So I actually took a little time and I looked up a definition of a bigot. I'm a techie guy, so I didn't go to Webster's. I went to an online uh, dictionary. I quote, bigot, stubborn and complete intolerance of creed, belief or opinion that differs from one's own. So I said to myself, well, again, we are presenting facts. What do these people across the street have besides calling us names? So then the question came up, are we the bigots? No, no, you want to see bigots? Look across the street. Look across the street. So I also asked myself, well, what does this mean to me? And yes, I live in this area. My kids are growing up in this area. This is my neighborhood. So this is about quality of life. But you know what? Recently it became about more than that. It became about the law. It became about justice. Everybody knows the statue of justice, right? Justice is blind. It's the lady with scales and a blindfold on her. That means, by the way, that the law has to be applied without any regard for race or religion. Now, my question is this. Right now, Department of Buildings, which was created, by the way, to provide rules and regulations, in other words, laws, to govern the building, of the, to govern new constructions of building in, in, in the city, right? If, we, if someone tomorrow decided to erect a church, a, a, a Buddhist temple, a synagogue, I bet you Department of Buildings would do their due diligence and if there were any violations, they would certainly take a note of them, these people would be fined, there would be stoppage of work orders, so on and so forth. For some reason, we have a construction that is falsifying their records, that is falsifying the potential occupancy amounts, okay, and nothing is being done. Again, somehow we decided not to apply the law to all. Somehow mass community centers, Muslims, mosque, uh, Islamic centers are exempt from the law. So now I just want to ask the building department, you know what, don't shake our confidence in the rule of law. This country was built on the rule of law in the idea that it's applied equally to everyone. So apply it just like you do to everybody else. Apply it to Islamic community centers and mosques. That's all we ask for. Justice, the real justice and not politically correct justice.